My friend Christina always says that shop is the new blog when it comes to websites. Click like if you tend to agree. So many of us are selling offers these days that require product description copy. And that can make all the difference in the world when you're selling online. You can have absolutely exquisite imagery, A plus mockups, beautiful design. But if the copy isn't getting that add to cart action to happen and getting them to actually check out, then what's the point? Doesn't matter how close we get to the end zone, we have to actually score that touchdown and it's the copy that typically converts in the end. So in this episode, you're gonna learn tips to writing product description copy that sells. And if we've not yet met, hey there, my name is Ashlyn Carter. I'm all about helping creatives like you figure out what to say and how to say it because the lack of knowing that should not be the thing that's holding you back from making sales, especially these days. Also, not only am I a conversion copywriter and brand and launch strategist, but I have had a Shopify digital e-commerce shop for six years now, have sold hundreds of thousands of dollars on it. So I have had to take my own medicine and apply these. And I'm gonna talk more about that in this video too. By the way, this mini training is a pull from our brand new item that we're launching inside the copy bar this Black Friday. It's 32 product description templates. Look down below, you can hop on the wait list for when those drop or go ahead and get it if this video is after Black Friday. Let's get straight into it. Number one, the first thing I wanna do is define our terms. What is a product description? There's a whole heck of a lot going on on a product page. So when I say product description copy, this is the part I'm talking about. This is the marketing copy, so the words that describe what the product is and explain why the customer needs to buy it. You're giving the features and the key benefits of the product so they feel compelled to buy. Now, I know I'm gonna get this question because I have before. What is the difference in a sales page, a services page, and a product description page? The answer is the one nobody likes to hear. It kind of depends. I have sold a $37 offer on a long form sales page and shot that out to cold traffic and had great conversion rates and built a multiple six-figure funnel off of that. And then I've also had these product descriptions going in my shop. The way I look at it and based off of what I've seen and experienced, here's the big difference. On a product description landing page itself, you do not have, see right here, you do not have a whole lot of room up at the top for the big wind up before you introduce the offer. You get to the offer, pretty quickly. Now you're gonna lawyer up and explain the value of that on the rest of the page, but there's not a whole lot of price anchoring, what we call going on before we go ahead and mention the price on a product description page, on a product page. Whereas a sales or a services page, oftentimes you're gonna be doing a lot of psychological anchoring before you reveal the price. Yeah, not always a hard and fast rule, but that's the biggest difference between the two. Figuring out the best vehicle to sell your offer is kind of one of those throw spaghetti at the wall things over time. But let's go ahead and get to number two. I wanna talk about what makes a good product page and how to write a product description. The basic anatomy to a dynamite product page includes 13 different elements. I talk about these inside those product description templates in the copy bar. If you want the full nine elements, Let's go there. I'm gonna hit hard on four of the big elements right now. The first thing you need is an SEO packed product name. According to Drip, about 68% of us search a product on Google before we buy it. So when you're writing your product descriptions, one of the first things that you're thinking here, how can I include keywords that my audience is already looking for? I've done a full deep dive three-part video series on SEO copywriting, so be sure to tee that up in your browser to watch next. Writing for SEO isn't just important for the Google machine, but people are oftentimes on your e-commerce website searching in there. That happens all the time with us on the copy bar. People know of a specific product you sell, the Sweet 16 sales page template or the copy bank and they go, they find that search icon and they start searching. So think about people approaching your e-commerce site the same way. How can you make it way more clear than clever. Okay, so they hit this product description page. The first thing they're seeing is that SEO packed headline or product name. The next thing that they're gonna see is a little paragraph that includes the following. And I firmly believe that when people say product description copy, they're thinking of these two pieces, number one and two that I'm going through now, by and large. So in this little paragraph, I need you to have the hook, I need you to have the value prop or the onlyness factor, why is this different? And then I need you to have a little bit of copy anchoring with emotion your offer. When I hit this page, again, we're going for clarity, not clever. I need to know who this is for and who it's not for. And you're gonna do this by speaking to the problem that it solves. The copy here is gonna have some emotion in it, some empathy. I was consulting with a client recently who booked a strategy hour with me and she was selling a $27 product. Again, I just kind of mentioned selling those, but she had the copy on this product page when you went to it immediately started out naming what it was and everything that was in it. There was nothing that 
helped me know like who might need this. That's what this little paragraph is for. It's so important and it's a lot of times what people don't get right. And I understand because you're trying to pack a lot into a very small snippet. Okay, so you have the SEO packed title, the product name, you have this little miniature body copy section that has the hook, the value prop or the onlyness factor of the offer, and then some emotional copy telling me if I'm a fit or not. Before I scroll down past this section, I need to know the price clearly. And before I scroll any further, I need some kind of call to action button that says add to cart or buy now. Okay, those are four must have in elements. The rest of the nine elements you can have all day long below that scroll. So now let me just scroll and experience the page. You may have your features and your benefits punch list of everything, the specs, the tech, the dimensions of things that are inside. Look at how Lululemon does this on their product pages. You get the gist of the information, up above and then you get to scroll a little bit and see more about the product. Here's a pro tip when you're writing these features and benefits lists. I want you to think X so you can Y. So feature so you can benefit. If you've ever heard about features and benefits before in copywriting, this is what I mean there. You don't just wanna list out these random specs about something, why does that even matter to the person? A good product page is gonna do three big things. It's gonna help them narrow down options and be able to self-select, is this for them or not? Hopefully without having to reach out to customer service, you wanna be able to give them enough information on the page that they can make this decision on their own. Number two, it's gonna make it simple for me to compare and contrast items. So hopefully I can be able to look at this and think about other things on your site and compare between apples and oranges on your own ecosystem of offers instead of out on somebody else's property. Lastly, this is a little bit more advanced, but this page needs to help them understand where does this offer fall inside your ecosystem value ladder collection of offers. Okay, we've talked about what a product description is, what needs to be on a product page and how to write it. The next thing I wanna do, let's discuss the ideal length of product description copy. Roll up some sleeves, I did some research on this one and I found the research varies. Of course it does. <laughs> the best tip I found was a line out there that said product description copies should be between 300 and 400 words. So I went over to my website. Now again, I've been selling on Shopify for five, six years at this point. I've been interviewed by Shopify and contributed before with them. I like to think I have a decent working knowledge of copy on product pages and our product descriptions, when I'm thinking the copy itself that pertains just to that offer. It's about 325 words on average for my suite of SKUs and offers in my shop. And we have about a 7% conversion rate overall on the shop. Remember two to 5% average is standard for pretty much all websites. Now in that I did not include all the frequently asked questions and like the boilerplate style copy that does fall on every page. So think about 300-ish words that you have to lawyer up and explain why this item and what does this item in particular do as opposed to your other stuff. Basically, use as many words as necessary and not more. More on that in just a sec. I like sentences to top out at about 13 words or less. A couple of other editing tips, less adjectives. Just try not to use adjectives. Instead, use power verbs as much as you can and use specific nouns. Those are always gonna be stronger. Like any copy out there, you want to write for the scanner. Make it scannable. If you can use a bullet brigade to convey a little chunk of information, if that two sentence paragraph would make so much more sense and be able to digest if it were just one sentence and then four little bullet points, do that. I talked earlier about conveying emotion quickly. I've got a few examples for you. This one from AYR, I've referenced it before on my email list. It's so good. See how they do it a little bit tongue in cheek style, but see how they're conveying emotion in just a couple of lines. Like that's all it takes for them to explain this product, the value prop of it and pull you in with some emotion and then the rest of the copy can be dedicated to the features and the benefits and the specs and all that kind of info. All right, another note on word count, AI. I like AI copywriting, I did a video on it. I played around with some with product descriptions and my hot take is they just produce word salads, at least at this point when it comes to product descriptions. You can do a better job as a human. You can write this fun stuff like the AYR example that I showed you. You can absolutely do that, you're capable. I'm wrapping up here with five different conversion accelerators for your product pages. Number one, social proof and testimonials. You know this, I've talked about this in videos, but look at this great example I was checking out recently, bought these awesome keyboard covers. Look at this. So cute from Chic Geeks. When I was checking out though on the page, 
Look at this social proof on the bottom, loved that. Number two, do not forget an abandoned cart sequence. I was leaving thousands of dollars on the table until I installed one myself on our shop. I now include an abandoned cart sequence in our shop of templates so you can do the same thing. Don't do what I did and forget about it for years. I was recently shopping online and got this abandoned cart text message, which I loved, so experiment with SMS marketing too. Imagery, you know this is important, but did you know this? Having 3D product imagery ups conversion by about 250%. My friend Angela at Saffron Avenue does a great job. She has a productized service and she gives a little how-to video to show what that process looks like. By the way, hit subscribe. Next week's video is gonna be all about how to productize a service. The next include frequently asked questions. I mentioned this above. This can be like boilerplate style that you have on all of your pages. So it doesn't have to be new produced copy for every single product page you have. And number five, return information or what do they do if they don't like it? That could be a whole nother YouTube video. I have a lot to say when it comes to returns and guarantee policies. Let me know below if that would be interesting and or a video about the Shopify plugins that I found and enjoy using over the years. Be happy to show you that. Don't forget, if figuring out that hook and that little brief space of copy sounds daunting, be sure to look inside the copy bar shop. I've got those 32 descriptions ready to go this Black Friday. Corinne already said that she used them and they took about 10 minutes for her to write a product description. Heck yes. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and comment below with any follow-up questions you have. I love getting to answer those from y'all. Taking time to revamp your product descriptions is one way that you can keep boosting your sales. But if you're trying to launch an entire new line of products, be sure to watch the next video I've got teed up for you where I'm talking all about how to write the sales and launch emails that you're using to push people to this page and consider your shop products. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.